shoot Sir Wrench Gun here okay, but also not okay. Fortunately, this is only a visual bug. In reality, your needles still function as they normally do. Even though it looks like something else is happening, they're actually still being fired as they usually visually appear with normal view models. So what's going on? Whenever you left click to fire a rocket, what basically happens is that your computer tells the server that you would like to fire a rocket. The server checks to see if this is okay, such as if you still have enough ammo or if your rocket launcher is ready to fire, then replies back with a yes or no. If the server says okay, only then will your computer proceed and render the rocket model, particle effects, etc. Unfortunately, this makes shooting projectiles ping dependent. If you live far away from the server, making a request to fire a rocket can end up taking a noticeable amount of time to happen, which can make it a frustrating experience. So instead of waiting for the server to reply to start rendering the rocket, what if we just immediately start rendering the rocket while you wait for the server to reply? For rockets, this wouldn't really work. With high ping, you could hit someone with a rocket before you manage to get a response from the server, creating big flashy explosions that do nothing. But for a hit scan weapon, like the scatter gun, we can pretty safely get away with doing that. So we simulate all the visual effects as soon as you left click, which help keep the game feeling responsive where possible. The same applies to the syringe gun. As soon as you left click, an entirely cosmetic stream of needles is rendered. But here's the problem. These visual effects are tied to the view model. The first person arms and hands you see are actually a physical 3D model in the world glued to your head, rotating and moving as you move your mouse. But they're only visible in first person, so you can't see them on yourself or other people. This is what it looks like if we made them visible. This makes it easy to handle lighting the arms and hands, since you don't have to do anything. They're a part of the world you're looking at and render like everything else. This also makes it easier to handle spectating other people in first person and being able to see their first person animations. But since the view models are a real physical thing positioned in front of your camera, they can clip into any of the things around you. This means that if you press yourself up against a wall, your view model would clip into it. This was handled by setting the view model to always render on top of everything. But what about the visual effects? The visual effects ended up being left as they were, which is why visual effects like the medigun charge effect and minigun muzzle flash just clip through objects if you get too close. Similarly, if the syringe gun's needles fire out of the view model's gun muzzle and you're up against the wall, wouldn't you just not be able to see them since they're spawning inside the wall? To fix this, a 50 unit check was implemented. Every time you fire, there is a check to see if there's an obstruction 50 units behind the view model's gun muzzle. Rather than spawning the needle projectiles where they normally do, they are instead moved to spawn from the first obstruction found 50 units behind the muzzle. So the needles would spawn right on the wall, then immediately stick into it. Only issue is that needles don't spawn at the muzzle anymore. In an older version of TF2, needles did actually spawn at the muzzle. Changing the view model FOV would change where the needles get fired from so the 50 unit check used to actually help. But today, that check does absolutely nothing since needles now spawn at a fixed position. 16x, 6y, and negative 8z from the player camera. The player camera is centered in the player collision box, which is 49 units wide. If you press up against the wall, there is at minimum 24.5 units of distance from camera to wall. So there is no possible situation where the needle spawn point can get close enough to clip through a wall. So that's why the needles suddenly start sticking into the wall. When you switch to minimal view models, you also change where the 50 unit muzzle check is done. 
it detects that your syringe gun view model is now clipping into something, so it moves the needles to the wall. You actually don't even need to use minimal view models to make this happen. With normal view models, simply changing the view model FOV can cause this issue to arise. This is also why if you're not right up against something, switching between the normal and minimal view model wouldn't produce a difference in how the needles are rendered. We're not setting off the too close to the wall alarm, so needles don't change. This effect can happen with anything, including players and buildings. And finally, this problem is exclusive to the medic's needle firing weapons. Every other projectile in TF2 doesn't use this visual effect trick to represent the projectile, so no view model weirdness. I, I track you, uh, uh, Packer.